I don't think we've thrown in one complete song in any episode. It's just been tidbits and sound bites. So the uh, the making of the music was a really fun experience too. Not just the making of the show, but also the music because it's another. I really like the you know the creative aspect of filmmaking, and the music is, is another aspect of that. Uh, another way to create stuff. So it's it's really fulfilling, and I really like some of the stuff we've done. Challenges. What was challenging about the show? Um, everything. <laughs> um, it was a lot of work to sit there and figure out what's going to be funny because it's a comedy show, so you got to make sure that you're you're getting the laughs and you're not just stealing someone else's jokes. So coming up with original stuff was hard. Then the discipline of sitting there and writing it and constantly working it and making it better because the original idea was funny, but the more you work it, the better it gets and whatnot. This is my jam. We're going. Hey, cut the music, cut the music. This is a chocolate chip here from Atlanta, Georgia. And uh, as many of you would know me because of my uh, illustrious record, I'm pretty big around these parts. We, we had an incident where uh, one of our actors was away refing a soccer tournament that I didn't know about and that he didn't tell me about and we had everybody come in and I found out that morning that the guy wasn't there and was on the other side of the province and wouldn't be back for two days so I could either send everybody home or shoot something else so I came up with something else and shot it and that became episode three that was the common room bit. The, com the, the common room is this way if you guys want to come with me. I okay. can introduce you to some people that I met. Sure, yeah. Dress, my God, did you see that dress? Ooh. Ah, lost! Ah! Hey! Hey! Yes, I've got a people. This is Lucas. Hi, I'm Eddie. And just having the ability to persevere is, is probably the key challenge, just persevering through it all and, and adapting and whatnot. So I would say those are all some real big challenges in 305. So, you're What's like working with Dan? Oof. Working with Dan is the most amount of pain I've ever been in my entire life. Once I had bad milk and I thought that was bad diarrhea, but that pain was nothing compared to this. If I was a woman and I had to give birth to triplets, it would not be as painful as working with Dan. Then I get it right. Okay. But what's the line? You don't know the fucking line? Uh, no. Well, make one up. Okay. Call yourself a fucking actor. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> <I just> want... <laughs> but I have to say, despite all of that, he is a professional. In the sense that when he throws stuff at you, he makes sure that they don't have any sharp edges because he doesn't want to hurt the cast too much because Dan really cares. What is my favorite memory of 305? Probably making the show. Um, although I, st I think the stuff that we have on film is funny. My favorite moments are not on film. My favorite moments are the, are the times that we actually got together and shot it and made it. You know, I, I called my friends over and they acted for me and I filmed it. Or I was working at a joke with, with James or, or, or uh, Guru or something. Um, and that's that's probably going to be my fondest grouping of memories. It's just the 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 times that we got together and did it, and and not really the stuff that we have on film. I think the stuff we have on film is very very good, but my favorite memories are just the people rather than the characters, if that makes sense. So you you, you make 
wakes up in the morning and there's a woman next to him. Yeah. He slaps her, looks at the camera and says, Have you slapped the whole today? And then. I can't see you again now. <laughs> <laughs> Just like a, like a little, yeah, what do you think of that? That's kind of too bad. What are we going for? Did you for? actually hit someone? No, no, you can just hit a sound effect. So like you take a hand up, and boom, next to you hear like a slap and a scream, and the screen goes black. And no, it's a scene from a shot from the door. Yeah. I don't think that's cool because Dave Chappelle, yeah, he, he never goes that far. Okay. Oh, okay. Like he'll talk about smack it out, yeah. but he won't ever show a woman getting hit. Uh-huh. You know, and that's, that's why you go to the door scene. No, the thing is, if you make it really exaggerated until it's silly, like three two jerseys. What if you wake up uh-huh. with a woman uh-huh. and say? Oh, I, I know I know it's I love America. America. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the worst thing ever. You know how the Muslim pray? Yes! Oh. What if you wake up and like the camera's just here yeah. and you go ah, I love America! And then someone goes <laughs> and it pans over and it's a woman and uh-huh. she says, Have you slapped your hoe this morning? <laughs> <laughs> So, Mike, anything to say to future residents at Gilbert Court? Uh, just sort of curious if uh, they'll hear of 305 boys down in, you know, next couple of years or so, but we'll have to wait and see, I suppose. Mm-hmm.